Hi, Jenny. Thanks for joining us here today. So to start us off, you've obviously come a long way in your climate activism journey so far. So can you tell us a little bit about how you got started off? Yeah, so the way that I got started off when I was in school, anyone who was in school with me will remember me probably for being so crazy about the bins <laughs> because in the school I was in, we didn't have any recycling bins. So a couple of my friends and I, we went and did the Eco UNESCO Young Environmentalist Awards with a project to get recycling bins in our school. So I was always kind of interested in environmentalism, but then it wasn't actually until then in, I think it was in second year of college, I saw an Instagram ad from Concern Worldwide saying, could you be the next youth climate ambassador? I decided that it would be a good thing to do to kind of, first of all, educate myself more on climate topics, but then also to kind of highlight the fact that like, there just needs to be more nor normal people like in the conversations that we're having about climate. So that was kind of what got me interested in starting with Concern. And then it kind of snowballed from there because I saw the role come up with the Department of Climate. So uh, and MYCI and decided to apply and luckily got it and have been able to keep working that way. So we've heard a little bit about your journey now. So can you tell us why it's so important for young people, whether they're in college or whether they're in secondary school or primary school, why it's so important for them to get involved in climate activism as well? Yeah, so I think sometimes people love to ask the question like about young people being involved in climate as if it's like, oh, well, it's your problem. So <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> so I think obviously it's our futures who are going to be impacted the most because we'll see climate's effects for the longest amount of time. But in terms of who should be concerned about it, it should be everybody. But I think particularly if you're a young person watching this and you're thinking kind of, you know, I'm sort of interested in climate, but not really sure where to start. I think you just need to get talking to people who are doing things about climate and just really get involved and inform yourself. And you'll soon realise that you kind of have to start fighting for climate justice. It's happening now and like people need to care now. It's not, it's not a future thing. When faced with like the enormity of the climate crisis, like it's getting bigger every day, a lot of young people can start feeling overwhelmed or even powerless to do anything about it. Um, do you have any advice for those who might be feeling climate anxiety and what they can do to kind of ease that burden on themselves? The first thing I would say is the best way to kind of improve climate anxiety is by taking action. I've always found so just an example of a time when I had like the worst eco-anxiety I'd ever had was after SB58, which is, it's a conference and it's between cops and outside that conference. Every day when we were walking in, there was people outside protesting who like weren't able to get a visa or weren't able to get a party badge to get into the conference. And yet these people were being directly impacted by climate right now. I think coming home from that conference I just have never felt worse about anything to do with climate and I know that's probably not making things feel better but um I think after that I was just like oh my god like nothing is ever going to change this is so terrible but then I slowly came out of it and kind of realized that I'm doing an injustice to the people who are suffering right now for me to use my privilege as being in Ireland and with the platform to be able to kind of make a difference to just do nothing to finish up, is there any like key takeaway or message that you want to give to young people um, to kind of go forward with climate activism and maybe get involved themselves? At COP27 last year, I met a girl called Shania who was from Tanzania and she was only 15 years old and she was at COP and she was, you know, defending like where she's from and trying to get people to understand why we need to fight for climate justice. And I was talking with her and the, her guardian who was with her and the I was like, is there anything I can do as a young person in Ireland? Like, what can I actually do to help? Because right now it just feels so powerless and obviously like hearing your story, it's like horrific. Like, what can I do? And she, I was holding my phone at the time and she just pointed at my phone and she was like see your phone Shania doesn't have a phone like she doesn't have the ability to kind of put things up and interact with people in the way that you or any other young person in Ireland would have so I know sometimes like I certainly used to when I was younger be like why would people share things on Instagram stories like it does nothing it's so useless but it actually isn't because like you know, when we're sharing stuff, it is making like your friends, your community, everyone else around you kind of aware of the different things. So I think, you know, if you have social media, you have the power to kind of have your voice heard. So, you know, speak out, talk about climate and get those conversations happening in whatever you're interested in. Take what you're doing and look at it and say, where can I fit climate into what I'm already doing? And kind of go from there would be my, my final message, I suppose. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much.